Last week, the Mark and Family Student Recreation Center celebrates 10 years of being on Bradley's campus. Let's check out how they decided to party. Back in 2008, Markin first opened its doors to campus and the community. Founded by David Markin, this facility is 130,000 square feet of equipment and college-length courts. On average, about 1,000 students come through Markin every day, and it costs almost $30 million to build. The unique thing about Markin is there's a wide variety of activities you can choose from. The ability to go in and do whatever sort of activity that you're wanting to do. So whether you're wanting to work out or you're wanting to play pickup basketball or uh, indoor soccer or racquetball or badminton, there's so many different sports or different physical activities that you could play uh, regardless of whatever your personal interests or passions, wherever they lie. Markin hosts a number of intramural teams, sporting events, as well as classes. Charlie explains how Markin has benefited Bradley. The facility in general, specifically Markin here, is the site of many different intramural uh, sporting events. So Bradley hosts over 20 different intramural events. Uh, there's over 20 different club sports teams that are able to utilize this facility for practice and even home tournaments, such as the volleyball team that I know, the men's volleyball team has a tournament coming up on November 3rd here. Uh, and in general, it just provides students with an opportunity to uh, take a little bit of a break from classes and work out and just utilize the, the facility and everything that it has to offer. To celebrate this coming of age, the staff set up games and free food for students to enjoy. Over the years, Markin had changes in staff and equipment that benefited the university. Cheers to 10 years, Markin. For more information about events going on in Markin, check out Hilltop Happenings or the Bradley website.